What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today, and it is January 8th, 2019, which is a Tuesday and a reset day. Now, we do have the Niobe Labs that is going to be coming today, so probably go talk to Ada 1. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know yet. I just got into the game. This is my second time trying to record this thing, because I just keep getting error coded. That's pretty neat. Anyway... Let's see what Tess has for us this week. We have the dual emote. If you don't have that yet, you can purchase that thing for some bright dust. We have the can do attitude emote from Curse of Osiris. Again, you can purchase that if you don't have it. If you don't have a XP bonus ghost shell, the neon helix shell gives you 10% XP from everything. Get yourself one of those if you don't have it yet. They can come in handy for farming that beautiful, beautiful XP. And we have the Season 5 Eververse chest piece, if you're looking for one of those. Pretty decent roll on it, unflinching sniper aim, special ammo finder, unflinching power aim, auto rifle reserves. There's always got to be something bad on it. We have the Distant Relation Weapon Ornament Welcome Visit. Very ornate looking, neat looking weapon. And they have the Belvedere Weapon Ornament for one of my favorite grenade launchers, the Prospector. We have the Only the Finest Transmat Effect. If you like the way that looks. I don't know. Looks like veins coming out of you when you land. Pretty weird. Um, and then, of course, in the Prismatic Matrix, things of note, we have the Sanctum Plate Shell, which is a Banshee's favorite shell, meaning you will get weapon telemetry kills more often. And we have Augmented Wish for the young Ahamkara's Spine. I would show you what that looks like, but I'm on a Titan. It's young Ahamkara's Spine, except covered in chrome. There we go. Job done. Uh, we have the Warlock Season 5 Boots, which have Primary Ammo Finder, gross. Bow Scavenger, terrible. Dynamo, not bad. And Rifle Dexterity, meh. So if you, if you need them, and do you get them, whatever. We have the Titan Season 5 Helmet, with Rocket Launcher Reserves, Heavy Lifting, Energy Weapon Targeting, Special Ammo Finder, not bad. If you still need a helmet with rocket launcher reserves. Two other things of note. We have the floating dance if you don't have that yet. And we have get out if you don't have that yet. Other things are either just random sparrows, ships, ghosts, ghost projections, that sort of thing. For whatever reason, this week you can spend $11 getting the feathered friend bundle if you want to spend money on getting the ace of spades ornament. And you do get yourself three etched engrams and an only the finest transmat effect as well. But not worth $11 in Come my opinion. Again, um, now this week is a week three for the Dreaming City, which means it's a heavy curse week. Which means we have the Shattered Throne dungeon to do as well. So there's three powerful drops in that dungeon if you haven't done it. And it also starts you the quest for the Wish Ender Bow. And once you get the Wish Ender Bow... Then you can break all of the eggs in the Dreaming City and you can get yourself that little neat, taken -y looking exotic sparrow. As far as what the Drifter has for us this week, we have earned 12 points in Gambit. Wins add 3 points, losses add 1. So it's going to be a sweaty week. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be a sweaty week in Gambit this week for that. That's pretty lame. It's probably my least favorite Gambit powerful bounty, but... Whatever. It comes around more often than I'd like. Let's see what Hawthorne oh, and her little bird friend that. have for us this week. We have win Crucible matches, win a Gambit match, complete Crucible matches. Defeat Gar oh, that's this is these are daily. And then for the raids this week we have Fight Forever or Forever Fight, rather. And we have Hold the Line. Neat. Later. Neat. Let's go see what Ada1 has for us. Now, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, we for sure have the Niobe Labs coming today, which Bungie has said it's not a dungeon and it's just a quest thing or a mission. Who knows? There's a lot of rumors, a lot of misinformation spreading around the Niobe Labs. We'll find out. Everyone will find out shortly. Let's go talk to Ada, and hopefully today, with the Niobe Labs launching... The Burguzia Forge will launch. Now, it looks like you don't talk to Ada at all. 
for this, but let's see what we have here. We have the hand cannon, the bow, and the auto rifle. So if you need to farm for a good roll on a hand cannon, I think I've got a fairly good roll on my Kindled Orchid. Rapid hit, range finder, accurized rounds, chambered compensator with range masterwork. But I could always go for a better roll on it. So that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to spend a lot of time getting myself some hand cannons, but I'm going to figure out what you need to else, do to open up the Niobe Labs and uh, let you all know what that's about. Okay, so Niobe Labs. In the EDZ, very southern end, there's this area called Sojourner's Camp. If I said that wrong, please don't get triggered in the comment section. On the bottom left-hand corner, way over here, where this area didn't used to exist, there's a bridge. Weird, huh? I tried to sparrow over that and immediately died, so don't don't bother. Uh, you can't use your sparrow over here either, so we're just going to run our merry way over here. And I've already kind of scouted it out a little bit, but turned back before I couldn't go any further. Now in this area, you go through some trees, go through some other shenanigans, and then all of a sudden, hey, there's an orange glowy cave. What be this? I believe this is where Niobe Labs is. Now, before we get into that, though, other things of note this week. We have Showdown in the Crucible, and as far as the Nightfalls go, we have a Garden World, Tree of Probabilities, and Sabathun Song. There's no new Year 2 weapons from any of these. Sabathun Song is an auto rifle. Tree of Probabilities is a DFA hand cannon, and Garden World is uh, a sparrow, or no, it's a ship. It's a ship. Let's back out of that, though. Niobe Labs. Here we go. I believe this, this has to be it. There's no other explanation for this thing. We shall see what happens, though. I want, oh, there we go. Now, Blabs confirmed. So that's where I'm going to end this week's episode. I will not spoil anything in here. I just wanted to show you all the location. So, if this video helped you out, or you just want to support my channel, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you are new here, you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I will catch you all next time.